hate shooting it this time of night because one, my hair has natural blonde in it. And with the dark of the clouds, that doesn't help. Plus, I've got a little bit of salt and pepper because I've lived a long life, a hard one. And now I'm walking by these apple trees. Ooh, I bet you're wondering how I knew about your plans to make me blue. I've been singing days today, but lately I've just been tired. And what I've been, what I think it is, is MS. So yeah, autistic with MS. That's a thing. Uh, see? A little bit less gray, huh? Mm -hmm. Now that you get to see the realness of it in a better light. Yep, all I gotta do is catch it at the right angle. It's just the, my hair is light. So it just takes on that natural dusk. And if you see me during the day, you won't see any white. It'll be just golden and glowing. So I haven't done 15 minutes unfiltered, and that's kind of what I'm doing right now. If I feel like singing, I'm going to sing. If I feel like talking, I'm going to talk. Ah, for 15 minutes. <laughs> see? Old person. Hold on. I'm still... Oh, oh that didn't help. Ah, oh, the sun's down too much. Oh my god, but hold on. I gotta show you what I'm looking at. Oh, look at you. Uh, sorry, no nipachi spitter coffee. Oh, no, wow. No, 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 no. We are not doing that. No spill, but watch the sunset with me. Check that out. In fact, I'm gonna see if I can zoom in. Look at that. See that little cloud toughing over the top, trying to hide away? Look at it go away. See, this is where I live. And it's very relaxing. It's what I needed to heal. Now what I need is some hair dye. <laughs> like seriously, it is not this light. I promise you. <laughs> it's just the lighting. But I'm enjoying it. You know, recently it's been transformative for me because I'm losing my fear of things. And a couple times I saw it, you know, felt it creep back and whatnot, but then I realized other people's opinions about my life and what I like to do with my life don't really matter. I adhere to the rules because I understand what they're for and why they're for. Mm. See right there? Mm-hmm. There's brown up in there. It's just the angle and all of that, plus I am... The last few years have been extraordinarily rough on me. You know, I survived, but like, it was a f unique thing to hear from my younger sister a falsehood about who I am and what I am. It's just like, oh, well, that's a thing. But, see, this coffee is hot, so I keep shifting it. Mm. Alright, two-finger it. Don't go there. Get your mind out the gutter. And I'm half talking to myself, too. <laughs> ah, Lord have mercy. What's funny is, I haven't lost anything of who I am. I just put it away for a while. And I feel like it's going to be better this coming year. But it's, it's one of those where, I don't know, you think something, but... Something else might happen, you know? I never really stop worrying and thinking about things like that. And these dang deer, look at this, look at this, look at this. Bam. You see those? That's because deer have been eating them. So what I do? I took some deer spray and I coated this mother. I'm gonna keep coating this mother because I don't want to put up, you know, the the full term, well, the full boar stuff, you know what I mean? Uh -huh. Um, I don't want to go, I guess, full metal jacket on it. Uh, but that tree is going to be awkward unless I straighten it, but I kind of don't want to. I kind of think it's going to correct itself as it grows. Have a look from here. Looks like it's leaning. <laughs> I've got some pretty cool trees here. Plus, I've got a bear's lime. 
Now, if you don't know what a bear's lime is with two S's, yeah, that's that jam right there because it'll survive in Lebanon. It'll survive out here in zone eight. And I think it's hardy up to or down to um, zone six, which is pretty freaking awesome. Oh, he did the Wells' run. Oh, that's cool. I think he was showing off to his wife. That's, that's Warren showing off to his wife and whatnot, but I see the tracks. I see the trucks. And look at all this right here. Look at all of this. I've got, look where my feet are. You can't see my feet. <laughs> like, and I've got to take a gas weed ear to this because our mower decided to go. Oh, look, look at you. You're growing some berries. Look at this, look at this. Bam. What are you? You a plum, baby. Mm. See, I don't know if I should be plucking off those yellow things or just let them fall off on their own. I'm too inexperienced with tree grooming. Whoa, that was going to pull me in. Dang gophers. We got this one over here. And this one is a yellow plum. I was dying for one of these. In fact, let me just, let me just, no, a yellow prune. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, hold on, hold on. I got this, I got this. Bam, look at that baby. Oh. But it's a yellow prune. Which means we're going to be regular. <laughs> but <clears throat> I know what I've been doing to my voice lately and why it's been rough. I know what I've been doing. Number one, I haven't been practicing. Number two, I haven't been working out as much because I've been in front of this computer writing stuff and whatnot. <sighs> There's just so much to do. And I really don't have any help in this. Let's see about you. Now this one right here is going to come back next year. It's rated, I think, zone 8 or zone 7, which the lower you go, the better. Check this out. This right here is a pineapple guava. It's going to form a nice big bush with some beautiful little flowers. That's going to give us some guavas. Now I'm not sure about the, um, about the pollination of it. I don't know if it needs a brother or sister. I don't know. That's okay. If the guava comes back next year, it's going to get some. And this one right here is an aronia. A Nero aronia. Look at this. Look at all them little berries over there coming on. Look at that. Look at them berries. Ah, excuse me. And this right here is my bear's... Excuse me. Lime. Yeah, citrus bears with two S's. But my little lime right there, it'll grow into a nice, big, healthy little tree. Mm -hmm, ain't gonna be a big tree, but maybe it'll be a big tree. The soil is definitely acidic enough for it. Like this soil out here is just horribly acidic. But we're not gonna invest any lime because we got grass growing. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna take all this huge grass, like look at that. That is tall grass. All the way from to stern, it's at the same level as everything else. But all of that's going to be going on the, our um, trail. And the next time it rains, we should get a number of worms coming out to basically start replenishing the soil up there. Digging through and replenishing it while it's moist. Because there are some worms up there. And the more worms we can put out there with these and cover, you know, with the grass, the better. Or just throw them on top of the grass and, you know, survive of the fittest. This one right here is a triple, whatever the heck it is, it's grafted. I think it's an apple. No, it's a plum and pear, prune. So one prune and two plums. And this one right here, I don't know. Oh, I think that's the peach. Little peachy. Our nectarine isn't coming up, and so I'm going to talk to um, Winko just to see, okay, what's going on here? In fact, I'll show you. It's, it's a weird thing, because one of them got attacked by deer. Like, the deer actually pulled it out like it was a fetch toy. And then freaking, um, when it came back and started sprouting stuff, they started eating the leaves. So I'm like, nah, that ain't cool. So I started spraying shut. I don't know what you are. You are a royal and cherry. Bam. You all royal and stuff. Mm-hmm. I see you. I'm watching you. Mm-hmm. That cherry over in the front, that's a different type of cherry. I forget what it was. That's that one that looked like a leaning 
and this is Bing cherry. And then you better make be, believe that I'm gonna make sure this thing grows, because it's a bang. And then um, that's one kiwi. That's the other kiwi. This is the female, and this is the male. And I'm gonna get this archway right over here. It's a wedding archway. That's white. And so they're gonna climb that archway because kiwis are vines, and then they're gonna kiss in the middle and make babies. Mm-hmm. Getting that relations up in here. Uh, uh, all right, and this is a Fantasia nectarine. Look at this. In fact, I'm gonna turn it the other way so I can see exact. I wanna show you what's going on. Uh, oh, wow, that's ah, all up in your face. Look at this thing. Not a dang thing on it, right? And I don't know what the heck happened. But maybe life happened. I don't know anymore. And we've got people all around us growing all sorts of things. Like, I'll show you this bad boy right here. This one right here is a, um, what are you, a fig? You're a fig, right? You're a fig. I don't know what type of fig right now. I'm going to search around it and see. Because we keep the things on them. At least for now. It is a, oh, it's a pineapple quince. I'm sorry. Yeah, I used to appetize you. Mm -hmm. But we've got apples starting to sprout on all these apple trees. Have a look. Those are either plums or they're apples. But I'm pretty darn sure they're apples. And, with luck, we might get to some of them before the deer do. But I might just spray them because part of me wants to take at least around this area and around my grove, especially in the other trees, just get some like mountain lion urine. Because we have mountain lions out here. Or get some bear urine. There aren't too many bears. In fact, there really aren't any mountain lions. Oh, we've got some things that came up and some things that didn't. Up top, I got my blueberries that, that these, um, they're supposed to be late harvest blueberries, but dang if they aren't already producing berries. And these are the um, pink lemonade blueberries. And I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven pink lemonade blueberries. I've got the seven or nine of them. I'm not sure which. I'm just like, you know what? This is pink. They're blueberries and they're pink. <laughs> so that's kind of what I was doing with it. Oh. Hold on, how many pots your spirit here? <laughs> See that that right there is like I know some people take offense to it, but they shouldn't. Seriously, like God has a sense of humor. And I mean Jews are proof of that. <laughs> but check this out. This blueberry was itty bitty bitty. And now it's all big. And, I mean, it's already got blueberries on it. They're starting to form and all that. It's just like, wow. Well, one thing I've been... We, hit, we had the neighbors over the other day. I made chicken fillies. So I made them as close to traditional style as I could. But we only had mozzarella cheese. And, of course, one lady was just like, this ain't a real filly. Like, I, listen, I'm doing what I can, <laughs> you know? And as far as culture goes, I'm living in a food desert. I've lived in an actual food desert before, so I, I don't mean to make light, but at the same time, like, culture-wise, this place is shot. But yeah, we had all our neighbors over. Like, originally, I was just going to cook some chicken fillies and invite, like, well, we got a neighbor across the street that had cancer, prostate. So I was going to just bring food over to them. And then I run into Richard, who's the forester. Like, he's an older dude, but he's just so cheerful and nice and cool. And he's full of information. And he's like 60, 70 years old, but he's lived in the same place across the street all his life. He's just the, a really cool guy. Oh, and those things I was trying to tell you in an earlier video that were um, pine trees. If you try to bite me, I'm going to kill your family. Okay. Coffee. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry, sorry, I did not mean to make that ugly face. Ah, and I touched my glasses. Ah, they're smogged. But no, um, those things I thought were pine trees, 
They're actually ancient ferns. When I say this property is biodiverse, you have no idea. Like, seriously. And we are the only ones out here because of our ponds, our seasonal ponds. We're the only ones out here that get regular bullfrog choruses with the tree frogs. Like, seriously, I'm going to record that and send it to CCTV because that's a jam. Seriously, nature jam. Dig it. <laughs> but yeah, it was nice having the neighbors over. I'm like walking over to take those chicken fillies across the street to the to our neighbor. Um, we actually named a run after him when we found out he had cancer. But um, it's Corporal Wells's run. And we're doing that in homage. You know, he's still with us, but you know, I still think it's homage. And apparently um, he did the same thing with some of his things with a buddy of his that, you know, isn't with us anymore. And he served in the military. But yeah, I'm walking over to bring him those chicken fillies while they're still hot. Because I had them all wrapped up and everything. And then I see the neighbors and they're about to drive off. And it's like, hey, you guys hungry? They're like, yeah. So we had I think it was Dan and Linda. I think so, yeah. I'm, I'm horrible with names. Unless I've, you know, been talking to you regularly. And I don't talk to them that much. Kind of regret that. But they came over. I made them some of my coffee. They had some peach tea. The sun tea. That I was making that earlier that day. It was good. It was good. We had the fillies. And we had just... I forget what else I was cooking. I was cooking something else. <laughs> I was running like a chicken with his head cut off. But we got Richard. We got Dan Lindo. We got them. Plus I brought a friend of mine. A little bit later. And it was just one of those nights where it's like, all right, we're cool. And I'm running around, you know, cooking and all that just to get everything finished. But we had enough leftovers and leftover goodies that we can cook again tomorrow. And yeah, it, it was just a good time. But that's the spirit that we have. Like, all the people I live with are like that. We're just compassionate, caring people. Ah, now you want to act right. See? It's just the way the light hits it. That's what I'm telling myself. But... <clears throat> I'm trying to keep my spirits up. The sixth is a very... No, the fifth is a very important day. At least to me. And... I'm just trying to keep my spirits up because that that day is going to weigh on me. But we're at 18 minutes, so y'all stay safe. I'll catch you around.